My name's Laura, and after a year of traveling the country in my camper van, it's time for something bigger. Last week I shared that Courtney and I bought a house, and today we're jumping in to one of the biggest possible projects. Attempting to sand all of our hardwood floors in one weekend. Before we get started, please take a second to subscribe. It's the easiest way for you to support this crazy adventure. Okay, we have had breakfast, we've had coffee, and we're ready to get started. The smart thing to do is definitely to start upstairs, which means we have to carry this sander all the way up without damaging any of the steps that we're here to fix. <laughs> Muscles! You're gonna do all the Muscles. things. <laughs> One step closer to getting started, the sandpaper is easily the most expensive part of this project. One advantage that I have is that I know sandpaper pretty well. So you need to change the sandpaper pretty often and you have to go in multiple stair steps of grit. The lower number is the heavier grit and it'll take off more material. You start with that one. Then you work your way to higher numbers. So we're starting off with 36 grit sandpaper. Then we're going to 60, 80, and 100. We also have 120 grit screens. We're gonna use that here on the first floor to give a really smooth finish. The 100 grit sandpaper will be plenty, but down here on the first floor, we just want the best finish possible. So we did grab some of the 120 grit screens just to go one last time. If you have a lot of experience, I've heard of people just doing three passes with three different grits, but we don't have a lot of experience, so we're gonna go with four just to make sure we're set up for success. You'll notice that not all of our sandpaper matches. We did find a deal at our local hardware store. I think they were clearing out of their inventory. Those sheets were only $3 a piece. And then we picked some up at the rental store. Those were $8 a piece. The rental was really inexpensive, so it's nice to have something that was less, but you have to understand if you do this project that the sandpaper is where the money's gonna be. Now, as far as the sander goes, there are two types of main sanders that you would use for a floor. I think the one most people expect is a drum sander. That is a really aggressive sander. It would help you even out floors, take off a layer of paint, all of that stuff. You would even need to use that if you just refinished it and you wanna refinish it again. Lucky for us, these floors have not been refinished lately. The finish that we do have is really thin and dry. Because of that, we actually picked this sander because it's less aggressive. Should also be easier to use and lower risk. With the drum sander, it spins in a circle very fast and you have to be careful not to put a groove in your floor. This operates like an orbital sander, so it's just gonna do this across the floor. You don't have to worry about it digging in as much and you have more freedom in the direction that you go. It should give us a chance to actually get over the learning curve and do a really good job. This floor is already very flat. We know there's some scratches that we're just not gonna be able to get out, but we wanna make sure we get the finish off of it and smooth it out as much as we can before we put the new finish on. The floor's in really good shape, but it's very unprotected right now, and we need to get the new finish on it so that we don't have to be as cautious while we live here. For this sander, we need one of these sanding pads 
And we're starting out with our 36 grit sandpaper, which is a little intimidating. It's very rough. What did we get ourselves into? grit lift and it's not hot. grit is done it's time to move on 36 definitely took longer than I expect the other ones to because you have to get through that first layer the next three are really just to even out the scratches from the previous one so the 36 grit sandpaper left a lot of scratches that's why it looks so dull the 60 is gonna take some of those out the 80 is gonna take those out and the hundred should really make the floor flat so far it's going well, just taking more time than we expect, but that's because we're learning as we go. Courtney has determined that these quarter rounds need to go in the basement until we need them again. It's going well. Just finishing up the first room. This room has probably taken three hours or more. I think I was too cautious at first with a thick sandpaper and I should have just sanded it. The next room will definitely go faster. I just finished the 80 grit. We're gonna vacuum all of this up really fast and then do the 100 grit and this room will be done. It is going well. I did empty the dust bag. <laughs> there was so much more dust than I expected. I also am really happy that I have a mask and earplugs. The gloves help too, because this vibrates so much. Okay, so close. Courtney's gonna vacuum. Looks like you're an exterminator. <laughs> It's almost 10 o'clock. We got two rooms finished and this one is about halfway. Uh, I'm gonna go tell Courtney the day's done. We're done. 
for today. <laughs> We're both so sore. Uh, You're almost done in here. We're ready to do this all again tomorrow. Okay, okay, day two. I just got here. Courtney needs to make a run to Home Depot. I am just heading upstairs for the first time. It was pretty late last night when we left. I think it looks good. I know what needs to be done up here before we move downstairs, but we're eager to get done. We only have the sander rented through today. Wow, that does look good. So when we left last night, this room is just finished with the 36 grit. I need to run through and do the 60, the 80, and the 100. This room, completely done with the big sander, and this room too. Wow. I was so eager to see what it looks like today because last night when we left, we were both just so tired. We didn't rent the sander until 8.30 and by the time we got back to the house, got everything set up and actually started sanding, it was almost noon. And we ended last night at 10 p.m. Although we were happy to be done, it just felt like time passed so fast yesterday. Everything went smoothly. We didn't have any problems. The sander uses these pads to help keep it even and kind of push the sandpaper and make sure there's no marks, all that good stuff. You need this. This is about half as thick as it should be. Now, when we rented the sander, he asked how much floor space we're doing and we kind of underplayed it because we didn't want them to know how much we actually planned to get done. He gave us two of these. I think we needed a few more. So this is after the two rooms. I have the second one on the sander now, and this is what Courtney ran to pick up this morning. I think I'm good for today to get started on this room without the new one, but I wanted a new one for the first floor because we're really gonna be cautious with that floor. I think that we're off to a great start. I'm way less sore than I expected. I thought I would not be able to move this morning, but I have coffee, I'm trying to get my energy up, and I'm ready to start sanding. shiny but that's just on the camera and it's because we used 100 grit sandpaper so it is really smooth. I'm gonna take an after picture and we're gonna compare it. Perfect. That means the only thing left upstairs is the hallway. Yes! Get me downstairs. taking off the quarter round of the landing because I think we're gonna try and sand it even though it's such a small space. She found old newspaper. I don't know if you can make out what any of the words are. Do you think it's insulation or? Possibly. This one's a comic. Oh, a water heater is $30. Wow. Okay, we found the classifieds. I believe it's section 20. And from what I can tell, for sale, a kitchen, I'm gonna say sink. And I bet this is the phone number, A2739. Oh, wow. I think that that's what phone numbers used to look like. Oh, I know. Is it just for space? Maybe. It, make, it would make sense if it was our insulation. I feel like we should leave some on it. 
We think 1940, but we don't know. The used cars that I found on this sheet are 35, 38, there is a 40. Oh, I didn't see a date that said 1949. Okay. So it might be older than 1940. We have some bonds, some government bonds. How cool. Okay, we think 1940s and definitely November 15th. We're definitely gonna save these, see if we can make something out of them for the house. I don't know, I might be able to put around a picture frame or something. Yeah. And then we're gonna keep this one on the quarter round so that there's still a little bit of hidden treasure in the house. That's pretty cool though, because we bought an old house to see what we could find in it, and now we're already finding things. Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Hold on. Yep, I am ready. us hours I think from doing it with a palm sander still needs some still needs a lot of work where I couldn't get it but I didn't bust out the window so that's good Courtney did inform me that we did however have a casualty so the landing is right there and we broke the light I didn't even think about it if I would have thought about it we would have probably taken that cover down before we started, but I guess that's what you learn. I don't even really remember what it looked like, but we will find another one to replace it. <sighs> but that does mean that the sander is officially downstairs. We have the entryway where I've been storing the sandpaper, the living room, and the dining room, and we are done. We did, however, expect that we would be at this point last night before leaving, but that's okay. It's the afternoon. Five o'clock, four o'clock, four seventy. It's four o'clock, and what a better time to start. At least we know what we're doing now. Also, Courtney has all the quarter round off, so we should be able to start here pretty fast. This one will be interesting. I think the floorboards are just a, a half inch wider, but there's a few spots that I just don't know what they're gonna look like once we get them sanded. This is probably the only room in the house that really could have used the other floor sander instead of the one we have, but we're gonna get the finish off. We're gonna make it as smooth as possible and go from there. Right after we tape up some windows and doors. later we are finished with the 36 grit we're both really happy with the finish on the floor now we just have to go through the other steps to smooth it out so that we can finish it and it'll look great but as far as working out most of the imperfections 
we're both happy with it. It's also really hard because we both love the character of the floor. You don't know where some of the scratches are from and all of that stuff. It's fun to kind of see and not have it be perfect. But when you're working with it all day and you're this close to it, you want it to be perfect. It's not. It will not be perfect, but at least it will have new life and we can seal it up and it'll last a long time for us. We are done sanding. It is past 10 p.m. We were worried that all of the neighbors now hate us. <laughs> we don't know yet if there's a noise order in this. Ordinance? We don't know yet if there's like noise ordinance. No, no. We don't know yet if there's a noise ordinance. But if there is, we probably broke it, but not by much. And we're done. The biggest thing is that this thing needs to go back to the rental company tomorrow morning by 30. So there was no choice to get done or not get done. Here is what the living room looks like from this spot. Tomorrow, when we have better light, we'll take some pictures so that you can see how it looks. We're interested to see it ourselves because it's dark out and the living room does not have a lamp. Either way, let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to some house projects because this is literally the first one and I think we picked the most intimidating task. We're actually not gonna stain and finish it until next weekend. So if you wanna see that, make sure that you subscribe because we haven't even picked the color yet. I'll see you then.